A group of delinquents is going to try to rob the house of a blind man, but the guy is a Gulf War veteran, and though he can't see a damn thing, he's gonna defend himself. That's why today on The Summarizer, don't breathe. This is the story of three young thieves who rob houses, but apparently they don't steal money. They steal electronics, clothes, and things of value, but for less than $10,000 because supposedly they are minor thefts, so the police don't look for them, or something like that. Oh, and after stealing, I don't know why this one called Money pees in the living room, this just got weird, throws a rock and leaves. After that, we learn that Rocky, who is the girl, does all this stealing things to collect money to go live in California with her little sister. Because her house is a mess, her father abandoned her, her mother's an alcoholic, and on top of that, she lives with her Nazi boyfriend, who sucks. And finally, there's Alex, who is the one from 13 Reasons Why, who is in love with Rocky and is a bit sad that she wants to leave town. And he is involved in all this because his father works in a security company, so he gets all the keys of the houses they rob. And supposedly, they never investigate the father because that thing I was telling you about the minor robberies. Anyway, after this, money goes to sell all the stolen stuff, and a guy tells him that there's a house where a veteran soldier lives alone, that he hired Alex's father's security company, and that they also think he has a lot of money inside the house. Because some time ago, a rich girl ran over and killed his daughter, so the family paid him a lot of money in compensation. So he tells the rest of the group, and at first Alex doesn't want to because it's about $300,000, and if they steal that much money, the police will investigate and his father could get in trouble. But Rocky ends up convincing him because it's supposedly going to be their last robbery, and with that, they will be able to escape. So the three thieves prepare to rob the house. While investigating, they realize that the neighborhood is kind of abandoned. It's the only inhabited house on the block, and the man hasn't left his house for five days. So they will have to do the robbery while he's inside. Oh, and finally, they also discover that he has a giant Rottweiler that's really creepy and that a man was blinded in a war. And here you are probably thinking, how are they going to rob an old man who was blinded by going to war for the country whose daughter was killed and they want to steal the only money he has? Well, all this doesn't matter much to our characters. They're going to rob them anyway. And the only one who thinks it's unethical is Alex. That's kind of fucked up to rob a blind guy, isn't it? Yes. The night of the theft arrives, and since there are no lights on, they think he's asleep, which doesn't make much sense because the guy is blind. Yes, that's true. Anyway, this doesn't matter because first they put the dog to sleep and then they try to enter through the front door, but they can't because there are four locks and the guy only gave one key to the security company, so they look for another way in. The side door doesn't open either, and on top of that, they make a lot of noise. <laughs> In the end, Rocky ends up entering through a window that has no bars, and Alex gives her a control to turn off the alarm. Then, she opens the door for them, they all take off their slippers to keep the noise down and start looking for the cash. Money goes upstairs, on the TV there are videos of his daughter, the guy sleeping next to him, and under the bed he has a gun. But Money was prepared anyway, and enters the room with something to put him to sleep. <laughs> At the end, the man turns off the TV and goes back to sleep. Money leaves the bottle that throws out like a gas, which I guess will make him sleep. Spoiler, no. And he starts yelling because he says that the blind man is already asleep and won't wake up. Done. What the fuck, dude? Are you stupid or something? There they see a door with a lock on it, so they think the cash is in there. Money tries to open it, makes a terrible noise, knocks everything, and by this point, he is by far the stupidest character in the movie. We also learn that he bought a gun, but Alex doesn't like this, so he decides to fuck off. Fuck this. And now to top it off, Money shoots the lock with a gun with a homemade silencer. <laughs> oh, who's there? Money tells him to calm down, that he entered the house by mistake because he was stoned and that he's leaving. But the blind man realizes that the lock is on the floor, so the stupid character takes a gun, tells him that he knows what's down there and that he's going to take it. So the blind man starts to approach, Money shoots, then Alex realizes that something weird is going on and the old man attacks him. At the end, he takes the gun from him, Money begs to please let him go, he tells him that he's the only one in the house, and the man lets him go. And after that, I don't know why, but Rocky stays hidden. Run, bitch! Run! 
And then Alex enters the house again. The blind man realizes where they entered, locks the door, covers the window, and now our characters are locked inside the house. At one point, she sees him open a safe box, and when Alex tells her that the best thing to do is to call the police, she doesn't listen to him, opens the safe box, and the money is stolen. In the middle of the movie, the blind man hears some noises and shoots them, but nothing happens because the guy thinks it's just Money's cell phone. So our characters go down to the basement to escape that way. But at that moment, the blind man starts to smell something weird, finds two pairs of sneakers on the door, and then realizes that there are still more people inside the house. And on top of that, he goes to check the safe box and realizes that there's nothing there. So that's when he freaks out and goes looking for them. Meanwhile, the basement is huge, our characters kind of get lost and something weird happens. Who the fuck are you? When this woman moves, she makes some bells ring and then the man realizes that they are downstairs. And though at first Alex wants to escape, Rocky screws it up again and goes back to look for the girl. Here she comes to wreck the day! There we learn that she is the woman who ran over the blind man's daughter, and that's why the guy had her chained up. The important thing is that they free her, they go to the exit, and after about one minute they open the door. <laughs> Anyway, our characters are alive, the only one who dies is the one who is chained, and now, listen to this. What? Well anyway, I won't tell you more because this becomes clearer later on. After that, the guy closes the door and goes to look for them, then he cuts the light and now everyone is completely in the dark. At one point, he grabs Alex, but he has no more bullets, everything falls on him, and our characters manage to get out of the basement. But while trying to open the door, the dog appears, and don't ask me how it got into the house because, I don't know, I guess the blind man let it in. The important thing is that the dog attacks them and they end up hiding upstairs in the room. There they can't escape because all the windows have bars. On top of that, the blind man grabs another gun, and though Alex wants to sound the panic alarm so the police arrive, she doesn't let him. Then she gets into the vent, and he can't hold the door anymore, so the dog comes in. Wait, if the window was so easy to break, why didn't they escape through there? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, never mind. Alex passes out on top of the window. Rocky ends up falling into, I don't know what, part of the house because the dog was chasing her, and the blind man has no idea where either of them are. Well, apparently, by the noise, he realized where Alex was, but after that, he hides. The blind man goes to look for him, and so a fight breaks out between the two of them. At this point, Rocky wakes up and realizes that she's next to the way out, but in the middle there's a fence, and when she's about to take it out, the man appears and takes her down. He takes out her backpack with the money, hits her a couple of times, and puts her to sleep. When she wakes up, the blind man kidnaps her just like the other girl, and though she begs him to let her go, and that she's not going to say anything about the kidnapping of the other woman, he starts to tell her everything. That the other woman should have gone to jail, but they let her go free because she was rich, that she took his daughter out of his hands, and he he thought the fairest thing to do was give him a new daughter. She was pregnant with my baby. You killed them both. No fucking way! Yes, because apparently the woman was pregnant and he was going to free her when his child was born. By the way, apparently the scissors didn't bald Alex, but the corpse, and so Alex is still alive. So he gets up, leaves the dog locked up, and I guess he goes to look for his friend. Meanwhile, the blind man buries the corpse of the other woman, tells her that he never abused the other girl, and prepares to get her pregnant. But when he's about to do a kind of artificial insemination, Alex appears. Now they leave him chained up. She tells him he's going to rot in jail, but there, they realize they can't call the police because there's their blood all over the house and because they're stealing a million dollars. So the blind man tells them to leave with the money and that's it. No one will ever talk about what happened. And now, yes, Alex and Rocky escape from the house. <laughs> 
Alex dies, Rocky escapes with the backpack, but the guy sends the dog after her. At one point, the dog takes the backpack, then she gets locked inside the car, but the dog won't let her out to get the money and she can't leave because she doesn't have the car keys. So in a lucky move, she ends up making the dog enter through the trunk, gets trapped inside the car, and she can finally escape. Well, actually she didn't escape because the blind man grabs her again, drags her to his house in a scene that was shown at the beginning, but I didn't tell you about it because I thought it was useless. Once inside the house, she apologizes to Alex for screwing up her life, though it doesn't do much good because he's dead. DEAD! But then a ladybug appears, which I didn't tell you about, but it seems that since she was a kid she liked these insects, they made her feel protected, or something like that. The point is that she realizes that Alex had the panic button on him and she makes it sound. And now the blind man goes crazy and the final fight happens. At the end, the guy seems to die, she leaves him locked up, grabs the backpack with the money, and escapes just before the police arrive. And the next day, she is already in a train station about to travel to Los Angeles with her sister. But then, the news appears on TV, everyone thinks it was just a robbery, the blind man is apparently alive and will return home in a couple of days. They only found two corpses of the robbers, and he finally said that nothing was stolen. So Rocky and her sister go to live in California, and that's how the movie movie ends. That was Don't Breathe. Comment which series or movie you'd like me to summarize for future videos. See you later. Go to work. Okay. Bye. <laughs>